sir. Gio is at the helm and we're finally sailing. Look at that. We got wind in the sails. We're going three point and three and three quarter knots. Wind next right where we want them. Probably need to trim the probably need to trim these a little bit more. I'm gonna bring the other winch handle up. We are not quite ship ship yet. I threw all the bumpers in the back lines and the extra stuff down below, so that's a mess. But we have this is the deluxe version of this boat, so it came with more than one winch handle. All right. Uh, is that, no. We need to harden up a little. I think we need to trim it. It's a close reef. Oh no, we're close hauled, man. We're run a close haul until we get around the end of Kelly's Island. Right. Oh, this, <laughs> this is finally what I have been wanting. Yes, this is finally what I have been wanting, O oh universe, which has bequeathed unto me this possibility. The universe bequeaths upon us many possibilities, but we have to work. We have to work to make them happen. So here we are. Incoming power boat the Fort Sumner Captain. We have the right of way. We got the right of way. He sees us. He won't hit us. Alright, I'm gonna trim in the main the jib the Jenny here. Get it inside the life there we go. Now you should be happy that Jenny is inside the life rails. Not yeah. Oh, I'd say this boat is, I'd say this rig's tuned up pretty good. Uh, we got, got a little bit of slack in the head stay, but that's good. Yeah, now see, the anemometer is total, that's sad, man. That makes me sad. The anemometer is not turning at all. It's, it won't turn all it's, way. it's clogged up with, it's clogged up with junk. And that even, I mean, without wind speed, it cannot calculate, it cannot effectively calculate. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's, this is, this, okay, that there's no anemometer. Well, I think what it's showing us now, it's showing us a parent. It still works for a parent wind, but it's not going to be able to calculate true wind because it doesn't know the wind speed. It thinks that the wind speed is zero. No way of fixing that. Now without going up in the bosun's chair to the top of the mast. Uh, <laughs> I ain't doing that. I'm gonna take up on the main halyard just a little bit. Got a little bit of slack. Oh, I got it. Tail this for me, please, sir. Yes, keep it at 290. Pull it hard. I'm gonna get those wrinkles out of the main. <sighs> there you go. That's getting a little bit tighter. Man, pull on that mother. Pull on. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna get it, get it into here more. That'll do it. That's fine. That that that's that's good enough. Now, I'm looking for a buoy. When you go around the buoy, we can we can. Uh, fall off and we can go on a broad reach to Pelee Islands. Close reach now. Yep. Okay. So we are we are leaving Kelly's and we're gonna go around this buoy. So let me see. 
what is our position? 4130. See, there's our 4135 and a half by 82, 43, almost 8244. So 82, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, and then. Oh, and then 4135, 4135. Okay, so we're well south. 41, oh no, 35 and 50. Oh, so we're actually there, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so we should. I'm looking for a big old lighted buoy off of our starboard bow. Giving us four, uh, four flashes. Well, we're not going to see it during the day. That's just what you look for at night. Get the, uh, uh, out. Let's see. Oh, you can see the Perry Monument now. Uh, yeah. Yes. Where's that confounded buoy? There it is. You see the Perry Monument? Yeah. That buoy is just to the right of the Perry Monument. You see it? No. Okay, I see it. Uh, Tell me what I want. Yeah. Well, just keep keep your course. Keep your course. Yeah, yeah. You can go 300 if, if it's more comfortable for you, if it's better for the rig. See the telltales? The telltales are flying. That's fair. That's fine. No problem. I I will forgive you that transgression. It's quite sensitive. Oh, it is. I mean, I overcorrected like crazy in the beginning. That every, everybody does that. Everybody, everybody's going like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You, you're you're getting a good sense. Now look at look at look at how beautiful this island is. Yeah. You should see it just, just, uh... Oh, you, you don't need binoculars. Yeah. Well, when we fall off, you'll definitely see it over on the port side. What I'm really looking for, what I really want to keep an eye on is the buoy. And I see it right there, I see it. So yeah, hold your course. Yep, yeah, that's good. We're doing five and a half knots. With just wind. With just wind. Not burning diesel. That's right. Look, those other power, you can hear them from over here. I can hear that boat from a half a mile, that's a half a mile away. Are you gonna hear that damn thing? And the ride looks so abusive, so... Oh, it does. They're, they, the boats are out, the sailboats are out today, Eric. I've seen three or four of them. Oh, well, this is a, this is a perfect... Okay, you wanted a perfect sailing day? Yeah. Today is a perfect sailing day. It doesn't day, look like the one we've had, you had with Connie. Oh, no, no, it's much smoother. It's much smoother, it's much less... Careful. Careful for... You're way off course, you... You oh, went... Oh, yeah. Now, I was distracting you with conversation, but... Uh, we're good. Back to okay. Let's see, are you still... Is the engine still in gear? No, good, okay. Try... If you... I hear if you put it in reverse, it helps to feather the prop better. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I thought that was just purely mechanical. Well, this keeps it's, it's this probably way. feathered. I can just, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it out. Like in neutral, just the, the forward motion should be self-feathering, right? Well, it should be, yeah. But if you put it in gear, it won't, it won't spin. Oh, right. Yeah, so it's, it should be feathered by now. Oh, you'll see it. It's, 
Yeah, the Jenny's in the way, so. Yeah, we got, uh, we're pretty good with the telltales. Oh, this is much less than one so foot, yeah. a good wind with less, without five Well, cause, because there's no fetch, so the land there, we're on a windward shore prep, see? And so you don't get big seas until you're way over by the lee shore. So, so they're probably getting some big seas over on the Canadian side. Exactly, like a harbor, like a, like a seawall, essentially. Well, yeah, uh, Catawba Island there, yeah, for, yeah, for sure. I'm going to coil up this halyard while holding the camera. Maybe I'll hold the camera here and call the halyard. Oh, but I have to... T oh, no. I have the lanyard through my wrist here, so I'm just going to have to make everyone watching uh, deal with the motion as I coil as I coil the main halyard. You see the buoy now? The red buoy there? Right there. Look, no, you're looking too. Look, 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 scan back. See the monument now? You should see the monument now. You see the Perry Monument? Dude. I can see the Perry Monument with my glasses off. It's it's just off the it's just off the leech. I see the red boat though. Okay, good. Well, not quite yet. Wait until we can just turn to head north. Okay. You have to be able to, well, okay. It's a little hazy. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we're out hiking on Kelly's Island right now. Missing this wind. Okay, th this is this is why you came. Because look at this. Oh wait, I gotta keep the instruments unobscured by foil blinds. I'll keep the buoy right off the gym sail. So we can round it. That's it. Going in there. Well, but then I gotta keep trimming. I'd rather have you stay on the same point of sail. Okay. And then and then when we decide to uh, to turn, then I can just do all the easing in one Got thing. It. All right, I'm going Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop. We're good. We're doing it, man. Okay, now you should be able to see the Perry Monument. I see the gap in the two islands. Up okay, well the Perry Monument is right in the middle of that. It's very pale against a pale, it's pale gray against a pale blue sky. Yes, uh, I see what could be there. <laughs> what could be that? 290. Okay, that's Mouse Island. And then that's the mainland. Well, it's actually called Catawba. And then you have Marblehead over there. And you can and you can see the 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 rides. You can see Cedar Point, some of the taller rides over there. Way down there. You can see them sticking above the horizon. Oh yeah, you can see Cedar Point for 
mile. I can see Cedar Point. You can see Cedar Point from Vermilion on a clear day. You can see those things. Nice. So that's a buoy, that's a red lighted buoy. So at night we'd see the light of it. What point will we get to change? Um it's throwing a close Pretty soon. Pretty yeah. soon. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start easing off actually now because you you're heading um Well I I've already eased off a little bit, so keep that course, whatever you had. We're eventually going to be heading pretty much due north. But I want to give this buoy plenty of clearance. Okay, we went to my previous course of bearing 310. Okay, but, but now, okay, yeah, but, but I've already, I've already... Really, I've already let off on the main a little bit, so you can you can you can you can fall off a little bit. You're gonna fall off to like 3:30. 3:30 it is. I guess we can ease into it. Yeah. Now the wind, the, the apparent wind is going to really diminish. We're not going to be, see, see how we're already kind of like. Yeah. Is that Pele up there that we can see? Ah, uh, that's miles? pretty small. That might be Middle Island, I think. What's your course? 3:30. Okay. Oh, that was a, that was fun. That, yeah, man. Into the wind. Into the street. Fantastic. Well, this one hand with the camera. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna head up north along this side, this around this buoy. Yeah, we're fine. There's gonna be a buoy off of Middle Bass, a green. Okay, the Perry Monument is dead ahead. Dead ahead. All right, now try, try, no, n now try heading, try a course of zero. Windex. Okay, we're on bearing 340, 350. And zero. Okay. All right. We're not going to be going as fast. 
But we'll be going in this in the right direction. Now, as you sail on this point, now there's not a whole lot of wind, but you have to be very careful that you don't end up, that you don't fall off course that too much that way because you'll end up with the wind on the leeward side. You'll, you'll end up with, it's called sailing by the lee. If, you, if you're sailing by the lee, that means that the wind is actually, your boom is actually, it's, it's kind of a weird phrase, but you know, if, if the wind is coming behind you on the same side as the boom, you're in danger of a crash jibe, of suddenly jibing, okay? Oh. Right? Yeah. In fact, now the, now the Genoa is being straight. winded by the man. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna try letting the Genoa out more. Now we're, we're going, we're going two knots. It doesn't seem like we're moving at all because we're with the wind. Yeah. And the wind is kind of just pushing us. Well, no need for this guys to be on at this point. No, I don't think so. Alright, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> 